Hey, David Purdue here. I want to talk to you about the forum, uh, the MyNAMS membership site, and show you exactly how it's working. Uh, this is basically a little tutorial on how to use the um, uh, members forum, the blog itself, and the, the uh, what we're calling above the fold, which is the um, kind of a, a member interaction area in front of the forum. There's three layers here, and we're going to go through all of this, and it'll be probably less than 10 minutes, I hope. Okay, so the first thing is to register. Uh, you click on this button at the top here, and it will take you to the registration page. Enter your birth date, and you'll be asked a couple of questions, or a question, and you'll have to answer that question correctly before you can register. We're doing that to ensure that uh, the spam bots are uh, frustrated as much as possible, because uh, spam is a huge issue with forums, and to be valuable for people, we need to keep the spam out. So we're trying our best to do that. And we're doing a pretty good job now, based on the lockdowns that we put in. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and register here. I'm going to use uh, a test name, and I have a guy called Testy Tester that I want to use. When you register, you need to use your full name to register. You can create a, for example, David Purdue is my registration name. Uh, I, that could be David Space Purdue. It could be David uh, underscore Purdue. It could be David with no space Purdue, and and uh, just as long as your full name is in there. We ask you to do that for two reasons. The first is we want to know who you are. This is a personal uh, and very tight-knit group. We want to know who you are, what you do, where you are, how we can help, who you can help. Um, we want to get to know each other. Uh, the second reason is that if you put your full name in there, uh, you've taken some time to build your profile a little bit, you're probably not a spammer or somebody that's just looking for backlinks. We throw those out as fast as possible. So if uh, if you are not putting your full name in, we're going to ask you to do that. If you don't do that, we're going to eject you. So I've registered. I have signed in. I've logged in. You can see up here is Testy Tester. That's me for the moment. I don't have any private messages, or they would show up here. I could go to my private message inbox here, or I can go to my profile here and set up my profile by uh, adding a picture saying a little bit about myself, uh, creating a, uh, a signature, and I suggest you do all of those things. The more you put in here, the more we will know about you and, uh, and uh, who you are and, and what you're into. Uh, you can also do a lot more over here, and you'll want to play around with that a little bit to figure out what's the, what you can do and how to, how to improve your um, uh, use of the forum. To uh, add a picture for your Gravatar, um, if you don't know about Gravatar.com, just go put your picture there. Also here, um, you can click on this and upload your picture here uh, so that we all can see you and know who you are. Okay, um, let's see, settings, you don't have to mess with too much. Now, I want to talk about, um, there, there's two level of registrations here. There is, you have to register for the form and the membership site. When you're registered for the form or the membership site, you see these two navigation bars here. If I click on Member Home, which is different from Home up here, Member Home takes you to the um, what we're calling above the fold, which is basically our newsletter area. All of this material in here is, um, is uh, member generated, and we are... For example, you can see here are recent blog posts, here are recent articles by people, uh, here are recent forum posts here, and we have a bunch of other stuff. Uh, for example, Karen Thaxon answered some questions about SEO copywriting, and we promoted that from the forum itself. So it's in, it gets promoted straight to the front, and this is where some of the really good stuff is going to show up. Uh, and some of the blog posts as well. And we'll have a section widget with more sections ha here based on the categories that we want to add. <clears throat> uh, you can click on sections and see what they are. The, the two sections we have set up are news and documentation. Uh, you can add videos, you can add articles, or you can see that we add documentation. And this is documentation about how to use the site. And the site changes a little bit in its... Um, um, layout. So it's a, an interesting little application. Now, let's go to the forum. Click on the forum. Once you're registered, by the way, for one, you're registered for the other. So um, you click on the forum, and the forum comes up, and you get this third 
navigation bar across the bottom which has changed. This po this tab right here, new post, you will love this. This is the this is your savior for find, finding your way through the um, uh, forum. If I click on that, it's going to show any new post that I have here that I have not read. So um, this is an announcement, and it also shows the announcements as well. So I haven't got any new post in here that I've read. Because I logged in last time, it doesn't show. So if I logged in as you, uh, you may have a whole raft of forum posts down here that are new. It doesn't mean that you've subscribed to them. It just means that they are new. You haven't seen them. So you may want to look at them, and you may not want to. You can always say mark these as read. You can do that right here by clicking on Mark Forums Red. Uh, group messages. Uh, I'll come back to that in just a second because I want to make sure that we get through the rest of this uh, as we go in here. So we have new post. Um, and and this, this when you click on new post, it kicks you over to the What's New tab. So you, you can actually see everything here. New events, new articles, new blog entries, uh, and new group messages. So let's go back to Forum. Now, on the forum tab, you can see you can have private messages, you have a fact, how to use this uh, tool, you have a calendar. If we click on the calendar, that shows us everything that's going on, who has a birthday, um, who has a podcast. You can enter anything in here on any of these days. For example, JV Alert is on the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. You can look ahead to months and input any information. All you have to do is, let's see, if I put in here, my daughter is going to get married on May the 15th. I want to tell everybody that. So I've got May the 15th up. So if I click on um, this little arrow here, I can see that week. You can also go to the view that you want up here with this tab. I want to add a new event, so I click that button that takes me to the add a new event. I'm going to say my daughter Jennifer gets married today. I'm going to copy that, put it in there. I'm going to change this to May 15, 2011, and I'm going to save the event. Now, um, here's my event. I can look at it in the calendar, or I can also edit it, and I can request a reminder for this event. So let's say that I get one day notice. My daughter's going to get married. Add that reminder. I better pack and get in the car to drive up to her wedding. And then I can check it out and see what I've got in that month. So here is my daughter's getting married, and here is... Um, the reminder that I have set. Okay? So that's the calendar. <clears throat> now, when you come back over here to the form, we have basically three levels of navigation. This is the site navigation up here. And when you click on this, any of these things, it's going to take you back to the site itself. Uh, for example, I click on that, it goes to the blog. If I click on workshops. It shows me the workshops that I can sign up for, I can find out information about, uh, and of course we have to fill all of this in. We're, we're building the site as we go. I'm just showing you the navigation possibilities. The catalog will take us to the products from our members and uh, instructors, and the press room and, and uh, all of that. The members, when you see the members um, button, it'll take you directly to the above the fold section, the member home. You'll see just the news category with the widgets, and we have some tech crunch over here. So there is some additional news from outside, external, that we try to drag in as well. Click on the documentation, and it's going to have a different layout, which we can control and change. Um, and it shows you the how-to um, articles for using this site. Okay? Now click back at the forum. So before we get into the form, here's the blogs. You can actually go to your blog, 
see the recent blog post here. Everybody has a blog post or can have blog posts. You have a blog that you can set up automatically and you can start writing uh, in here and some of these will be promoted to the front as well as featured articles. Um, most popular blog posts, best blogs, um, and you can get the entire scoop over here. So this is pretty cool. You also see the comments from people. Okay, so let's go back to the forum now. The forum shows up as, uh, you can see all the sections from the forum home. Um, you can't get to all of the sections unless you are a member, paid member, and logged in. So you've logged in, and let's assume that you're a member, paid member, and you can click on like NAMS5 there, then you input the password. If you don't have the password, PM me or one of the, the moderators, and they will give you the password uh, as long as you're a paid member. Um, if I go back, it's the same for uh, the accountability partners here. The accountability section uh, is for paid members only. And that would be anybody who has been at any of the NAMs from NAMs 1 through 6 so far. Now we have another section here called the NAM Special Offers. Here is uh, one, well, there's two NAM Special Offers here, and we have a, a form that is called Testing, uh, Test NSOs Before Launching. You can actually build your, your, your um, special offer there if you want to, and then move it to the NSO section when you're ready. Uh, here's a special offer from Karen Thaxton. And this is for NAMS members only. She has a um, course that she's written and is offering that to NAMS members with a 25% discount. Uh, if I go back, I'll show you the one that I've just created uh, as well for the uh, workshop, the NAMS 5 um, um, webinars. And I, I created little snippets. These little snippets are on YouTube. And when I click that, takes you to YouTube uh, and starts playing the webinar. Yeah, see it plays right there. Okay, you can add YouTube videos very easily. I'll show you how to do that. One of the reasons we have the NSO section is because we want to do business with one another. That's the point of this. Uh, we, we, doing business with NAMS members is, if you are a NAMS member, that's, that's only right. I mean, if we can, if we can share the wealth, that's what we want to do. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the forum again. And um, let's say I wanted to post a video in the NAMS and suggestions. Let's, and I come back to the NAMS box. I create a, I post a new thread. Uh, this is a test video. And I add some copy here. And then I click on this little icon, which says Insert Video. A little box pops up. Put in that link that I got from YouTube. Click OK. There it is. I can preview it. I add my tags. Tags are like keywords. If I want somebody from the web to be able to find this video or this post easily, I put in the, the, uh, the keywords here, and, and then I preview it. And there it is. It's that simple. Um, okay, so I can now let's just look at the rest of this. Um, I want to come down here and automatically parse links. That means if you put a link in there, it's going to make it a clickable link. Um, the only problem with posting uh, so far is that some of the images, when you insert an image, it only inserts as an attachment. We're trying to figure out why that is. Um, and it looks like that's a, 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 a problem with vBulletin, but I but we'll keep investigating. So you can click here for subscription. You want to know when people comment. You can do it instantly by using email, daily using email, or weekly using email. Daily and weekly, obviously, your digest. Um, you can put in an, a, you can create a poll. How do you like this video? What do you think about this video? And you can add as many as many possible answers as you want. Um, for example, it could be rate this video, rate four stars, three stars, two stars, one star, that kind of thing. 
and then you can preview, preview that and then submit the thread. So that's posting. How about following people and following threads? Um, so the important part is new post. Click on new post. Uh, new post will show you what's available. Then you can either mark them as all read or you can, uh, you can also find new articles, new blog posts, uh, new calendar events, new group messages. Uh, we're going to come back to group messages here in just a second. I'll show you more about that. Okay, so back to the forum. Uh, you can edit your forum post by clicking on it. And if, you, if you're the owner of the post, uh, you'll find a um, edit button at the bottom right down here. You can reply with quote. You can reply with multiple quotes. Uh, you can blog this post. You can actually add it to your blog. Um, that's a pretty cool thing, too. Now, you have a toolbar across the top here, which gives you more opportunity to do stuff. So, for example, thread, this gives you a printable and an email version that you can send to somebody or subscribe to this thread. Uh, search the, if it's a long blog post, you can search it and find what you're looking for in that blog thread. Um, you can rate it. This is important. We use the rating as the uh, ability to um, find out what, which, which ones should be promoted to the top. So if something is, is rated consistently five star, we're going to go back and, and vote that to the front of the uh, uh, member home. Display, you can control how your, your forum posts display right here. Okay, let's look at um, some of the other things that we have going on here. Um, blogs, I showed you. This will take you to your blogs, and you can actually create a new post right here. It also shows you recent entries, most popular uh, member blogs. More tools, basically this is a tool um, kind of um, navigation bar. Um, what's new? I want to show you what's the, uh, the, the cool thing about uh, groups. New group messages. If you're a member in a group, such as an accountability group, we should have an accountability group for um, group messages. Let me um, log out here and log in as myself so you can see more about the groups. Okay, when I log in as myself and I come over and click the forums, I get my toolbar, remember, down here that is the forum-specific toolbar. When I click on community, there's interesting things here. We talked about uh, groups, my albums, and friends and contacts in the member list. Um, I want to show you the, the my, my albums, by the way, is a photo album that you can create and share with people. But I want to show you the groups here. Um, because I'm an admin on this, I get to see all of the groups. Uh, you won't see all of these, but these groups are out there, and you can actually choose to be, or, or get invited to these groups as well. So um, if a new group message comes in, if you join a group and a new group message comes in, it shows up in your new group messages. Um, you can see here's an Alabama group. Uh, here is um, Worthy Causes, Missouri, San Diego, Pacific Northwest. Um, let's see what else. That's pretty much it at the moment. But we can add groups as we uh, want them, and you, you can actually do that and start a group and get the people together who have a similar interest. This is great for people who want to, uh, to have a group about photography or a group about a niche or a group about an offline SEO, um, local business, whatever. It, these are great little uh, geographics. They're great little pods um, for, for hanging out in. And I click on profile at the top here. You can see that I got 12 friends. I have not created any albums yet, but I am a member of two groups. So if I click on the Alabama group, um, Lisa Roberson has added a couple of pictures in the group photos. There's a group discussion started. Um, and we have Bonnie Christensen, who's now added into this. But the Group discussion is a great um, opportunity. You can start a group and uh, communicate only with that group. So if you're interested in a specific area, such as um, offline SEO, you could create an offline SEO group and invite people to that group 
and have your discussions there specifically about that information. Or you can have a group that is specific to a region or an accountability group. And then you communicate to that group by sending group messages. 